What's good, people here, and I want to talk to you guys about Tech Tier coming to the Xbox One and the PC. It is coming out for the PC today, so anyone on the PC can pretty much play with the Tech Tier stuff. It sucks that people on console have to wait, and you guys know I mainly play on console, but I'm probably going to go ahead on PC today and spawn some of the stuff in to show you guys what it looks like. But I cannot wait for this to come to the Xbox One and the PS4 because I think it's pretty awesome. Like, I have mixed feelings about it, which we're going to talk about in another video probably tomorrow or the day after but this right here can pretty much make or break the game now the way they're doing it is kind of weird you have to be defeat bosses in order to get some of the you know technology called knowledge uh, but i do want to talk about real quick it's the first update that they show and that is lancing pretty much you can ride a horse or ride a raptor and pretty much do lancing i think this is pretty cool for people who build arenas and stuff so i'm kind of glad they added it in the game the next update i want to talk about is haircuts we all talked about this in another video i told you guys it was coming and now it's actually gonna be released hopefully this is released i can see them holding off on a tech tier but at least give xbox and ps4 gamers the haircut feature because this is pretty cool they don't show it on the screen right now but you can actually like you can actually color your hair so if you want blue hair you can have blue hair if you want yellow hair you can have yellow hair but as far as we know right now it takes five hours and real life time for your hair to grow playing the game and it takes seven hours of real life time for your beard to grow so hair is five hours beard is seven hours i think that's a good you know update and i think it's pretty fair that it's that long because i mean it takes in real life it takes your beard a very long time to grow so the fact that it's not really quick is pretty cool now you do need scissors in order to actually cut the hair which is pretty amazing like um, as you can see right here they have fancy and then they have default i don't think they actually went through everything but it will be kind of cool to see the other styles before they actually release it but we'll definitely see it when it comes to pc so like i said i'm going to probably spawn a lot of this stuff in so you don't have to worry about it but um i just hope that it really delivers and it actually looks pretty cool because i don't know i just it's just weird seeing everybody looks the same and now that we look different i think this would be a cool update um you can see right here how he's riding it like every everything looks different like i want to see what the females look like i think that'd be pretty funny um but yeah the next update is we're going to talk about is these little metal things it's kind of hard to remember i don't remember the live stream is pretty long but pretty much the only way to get this is from defeating raid bosses um you can learn knowledge so it, when you defeat a boss, you learn knowledge, and that knowledge gives you the chance to actually, you know, spawn in these type of things. So it's not going to be that hard to get um, unless you really suck at the game. But I think if you have a big tribe, you should be able to defeat a raid boss and actually come back with the knowledge. At least the person who killed it. I mean, it would be kind of cool if, if say, one person defeat him and the whole tribe learns it. But I think what Ark is going to do is probably whoever gets the final kill will be able to to do it so hopefully the whole tribe can learn it but i can kind of see them doing that because this is going to be op as fuck when you get to pvp um i don't think a lot of you're going to see alpha you know having this type of stuff unless they've really been established for years but like i said you probably won't see this a lot you probably won't see somebody with full tech tier armor for a very long time so it's kind of great to know that it's not gonna be that easy now this gun right here is pretty much kind of like a laser gun um it do overheat so you don't have to reload but you have to watch how long you know how much you shoot it because it's going to overheat and you're going to have to let it cool down so i do like the fact and with this gun what makes it cool is it actually has a night vision so you can actually you know look through your night vision during the day and during the night and it won't blind you so you guys whoever use night vision goggles you know what i'm talking about i'm glad this update is in um the next one to talk about is the jet pack. this is the only thing i really want like even if you don't get all the gear at least let me get the jet pack because the jet pack is pretty fucking amazing um you can pretty much fly all over the map why would you need a tyranodon why would you need a you know a tape jar why would you need uh, a quest when you can just pretty much fly over the map by yourself um, what I don't see is like fuel, but I'm guessing you're gonna need gasoline and stuff like that in order to run. Um, you can see right here, you can actually run through freaking stone. Like, imagine running through somebody's base. I don't think they actually showed it in the preview, which kind of sucks, but it's kind of cool to see that you can run through certain things. Like, imagine this in Prim Plus. I'm pretty sure this won't be in Prim Plus, but um, just think about it like, why even waste? missiles and grenades so you can just run through somebody's base so 
I kind of feel like this is going to be expensive to actually get. And as you can see right here, he takes no fall damage. That's another good feature about this. Now, this one right here is Tech Rex. Now, it, it, at first I saw this, I was like, yeah, I don't like this. Uh, but it's kind of cool to actually, you know, have a Rex and actually run through it. I still think metal is going to be really hard to actually destroy. But it is kind of cool to have a Rex with real armor. This is the only dino they use with Tech Tier. They said they're going to add, you know, multiple dinos. But right now, this is all we get. So we're going to have to just suck it up and just play the game. The next thing I want to talk about is the sheeps in the game. Now, this really doesn't have anything to say, oh, it's amazing we got sheeps in the game. But you can pretty much get wool. The only thing I can think about using the wool for is that they're going to probably add another bed. Or you could probably make wool uh, armor. So if you want to have, I mean, kind of, it's kind of going to probably be like fur armor, but just wool armor. Um, they didn't really talk too much about it. I think they said the only reason why they added it was they kind of want like a contest or whatever. I forgot exactly what it was, uh, but that's the only reason why it's in the game. And you can ride them, and you can you know pretty much kill them, of course. But it's no really main purpose of having a sheep other than getting wool. And I'm pretty sure they're going to add different dinos, probably like rabbits and something like that in the future. So it's kind of good to see them adding something that doesn't, you know, involve killing. But instead, you know, just getting different material from a different animal. So I'm kind of glad we got that in the game. And I just want to see what we can honestly do. Like imagine um, coloring one of these things, like having a white sheep or having a gold sheep. It just will be pretty cool to actually do that. And actually breeding these will probably be one of the easiest. I think this is a passive tame, which kind of sucks. You can see right there, he actually killed one. But um, I think this is a passive tame. Um, and then, you know, I want to talk about this update because even though we have to wait on Xbox One, you guys need to know that, you know, it sucks to wait. Trust me, it sucks to wait. But as soon as all the bugs and everything is fixed, and everything happens over the PC, we're going to get a better experience. So just keep that in mind when you get upset when, you know, PC gets everything first. Because they didn't release when it's coming out for the Xbox One and PS4. And I honestly feel like they're going to take their time and actually release this in a month. I think a month is going to probably be the longest we have to wait. And it pretty much sucks. And the last thing I want to talk about is raid bosses. Um, these raid bosses, you have to defeat a raid boss in order to be able to get any of this gear. So I recommend anybody who plans on, you know, going and getting this type of armor, planning on having your whole squad wear the Power Ranger armor or the Iron Man armor, whatever you want to call it, to actually get shit done right now. Get to the point where you can actually get your dinos and actually defeat the bosses. I don't think it's going to count if you actually defeat them before this update is out. But I say just go ahead and get ready. Get your tribe ready. Get all your Rexes. Get every get Gigas and whatever you can get. And prepare yourself for this update. But that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Do you think Tech Tier will kill or make the game? I'll let you know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.